Tony Ridge really being the watcher uh, for the end of the year. This is just a part in uh, the original storyline. We're going to bring back the Boston Virginia stores. We also have a turn that exclusive two pack on sale at uh, the Disney store, uh, Left for versus Spider Man. So let's get to check that out. So you can see some more pictures of them online. We'll be on that here in the case. There will be a new uh, Disney store exclusive Marvel Select announced on Monday. So uh, check out Marvel.com on Monday for the first look at that. Um, and I believe it should also be available for purchase from the Disney store that same day. So uh, check it out Marvel.com. Uh, some pictures of the uh, new figure in question of clothes, you can see what you can do. Uh, and then uh, you go right over to shop.marvel.com and over. Actually, it will be exclusive to Marvel Shop, Marvel shop.marvel.com for the first two weeks. And then after that, we'll go to DisneyStore.com and also a brick and mortar Disney stores. But uh, two, two weeks, we'll just get to shop.marvel.com starting on the 13th. Mm -hmm. Uh, Marvel Retro. Uh, we were very excited to land this uh, deal where we could remake the old Nego Marvel figures of yesteryear. Uh, you can see the uh, circle suit, uh, the original of Spider Man on the left, uh, our more modern take of a costume on the right, and uh, Peter Parker uh, costume on the right as that. Uh, these are going to come in a large gift set and $80 for the retail price. So you'll get the one Spider-Man figure, classic Spider-Man figure in a reproduction classic box, and you get costumes for uh, more uh, realistic, uh, updated Spider-Man look, and also the all video of Peter Parker. And this will be the first in the series. So if you check out our booths, we have Spider-Man, we also have Captain America. You see here the classic Nego, our updated Nego, our updated figure, and a Steve Rogers from the uniform. That box is going to spin. And, uh, but I think we'll bring up the back. We actually just happened to deliver it to the booth by uh, Dr. Diego from MC Toys. So Wolverine is going to be the third one. That one will be um, have, uh, three entirely new books because it was never obviously 1970s Wolverine. So we had Dr. Diego make up. Uh, what the uh, 1970s Wolverine would look like. So he's got the purple mask uh, in the yellow and blue outfit. And uh, then there'll be a brown costume for real estate, updated look. Uh, without a purple mask. And also a loaded with a leather jacket and jeans. So definitely check those out. They look great. Uh, we just showed them the first time today. So you do the first one. Well, among the first to see them if you uh, stop by the business. And uh, there's also a classic core on display above, above the three box sets, which is going to be just uh, one third of the base figure for the four set. We'll also have more modern uh, core costumes and a uh, down play costume for one third. Uh, Marvel silicone trays uh, will continue. Uh, the next logo is coming up next. Uh, I don't think that's quite that big, but pretty soon. The Avengers logo will be just so here. This is about to solicit three colors. So I didn't want to be able to pre-order that, as well as uh, the Deadpool trade. <laughs> <laughs> some pictures you can see, some pictures you can't. Some computers you can see, some you can't. They're very hard to photograph. I'll have to get some ice cubes to show you what it is. But it's through six, I think six Deadpool heads and then two Deadpool logos so that are round under the two eyes. Uh, I, I think we have an display that we'll still be able to get a better look at. But it will actually have openings in the end of the series. But it looks pretty important to get the new slope to put around. Uh, this one you see a little bit better than the Spider-Man gelatin mold. You can see that in the booth as well. Uh, this is our first Marvel gelatin mold. Uh, not silicone, it's in hard black. Definitely check that out. Uh, we're also getting very close to releasing our mid Spider-Man 2 resin statue. Seven inches, eight inches tall. This is the full figure. And then right after that, we're going to be putting out uh, the bust, which is about six inches tall. And a bust that brings out. <coughs> so look for these to all take uh, in the next couple months. Uh, 
Final company. Uh, we have a lot of fun with these. The Applejack tank is going to come out first. Uh, I believe the one in our power of the booth is the actual post production sample. So uh, that's going to be pretty much what it's going to look like there. And uh, the other two are a little bit further, further but not scroll along at all. I expect to see Fluttershy around the end of the year and then uh, a rarity in uh, early 2015. Just Fluttershy. One of our, uh, our vital banks, so there will be a point slot in the base for each one of you, but the money is going to be open as a box. And these guys are about uh, 70 times tall. Plants vs. Zombies, uh, we are uh, only a couple weeks away from the release of our two packs, uh, All Star Zombie vs. Uh, Shadowfell, and Engineer Zombie. Versus Chomper, Foot Soldier Zombie versus Candle Cactus, and Scientist Zombie versus Captain P. Here's these two packs that suggest retail price of about 1999, and they will be shipping starting in, I believe, 27 this month. So, uh, not this week, but uh, all of you. Pathfinder, uh, we're going to be making the final bank. Sin City, uh, our black and white action figures, uh, style action figures are available now. Uh, Tommy Shop's a special sword, and we have color figures of Marv and Harding that are exclusively available at Toys R Us right now. Uh, we do have a color version of Nancy that is on the way. Uh, we'll be announcing where she will be available very soon. She will not be at Toys R Us, but we have these two figures now. And uh, so Nancy is uh, on our short field. We'll be going to announce about the area to be able to find her. We're also working on a poker set, uh, similar to the Good Tennis Plus Paradise set. And we just give you, for the first time, at uh, the booth, our Marv bust, the resin bust, about 6 inches, 7 inches tall. And uh, we will be able to pre-order in the end of this month for the new previews coming out uh, for November. Just picture those toys plus figures in the package. And again, these are the full color versions. There are black and white versions available from special features. Some of them are larger, more or less spaces. Uh, a select style figure. It comes in a larger packaging as well with this fine art. It's a uh, lower price point, a small package. Well, same accessories, but uh, in the case, smaller pieces. Uh, 
and I live here regularly ever since the sequel started. And you can see that on display. Again, suggestions for the price of 24 or 99, and it's um, going to come with the, uh, the stair background and the uh, background works as a backdrop or a fork, and you will work with uh, the car and crew and we're going to work together as a union. Uh, joining our start, our spot final bank is going to be our third final bank. Special retail price of twenty three dollars. Uh, I think we're moving towards them for early twenty fifteen release. And uh, you may see our start back next generation silicone tray, but this is our next silicone tray it is a four cube. Thank you. 